we've started the film collective we've made quite a few videos and interviewed a lot of people we'd all like to have a real job someday so we thought we'd make a film on working as a disabled person and try to find out more on the history behind it. What my dream job would be? Yeah. I'd like to be a nationalist, but I can't because I need the qualifications and it's probably too hard for me. Well, how do you know if you don't try, eh? True. <laughs> <laughs> Never ever it, you might find a job or or something, but in Barking Dagenham, there's no jobs for no disabled people around anywhere. All, the, all disabled people are, are, tra are trapped. We're, we're in a, 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 a big hole and we, and we can't get out, so that's how I see it. But you, you, gotta, you gotta try, try and try and try until you can get somewhere, until you can get your dream job. If you don't, if you don't try, mm. then you, you're not going nowhere. I'm doing a part of my dream job, but the other part, I'll do it in the, in the, in the long run. And the other part is to be an artist. To be a famous artist. Right, my dream job to work for the TFL to be a customer assistant, a fireman in central London and I have found a lot of history about the underground. I've got two inches coming up soon. While we were researching we found these pictures of Remploy. Remploy opened in Barking in 1965 and over the years it's employed hundreds of people with disability. They did everything from electronics to bookbinding. Remplay is still open today. It gives skills and an income to people who have had a hard time finding work. Some factories are closing now, but really there should be more like this opening. Other companies should give us a chance to show we can work all the same and prove everybody wrong. We went to London Metropolitan Archives to find out if there were other places like Remploy. A long time ago in the past there were loads of disabled people just like today. Some of them were blind or in wheelchairs. We learnt that a man called John A. Grooms started a flower factory where people who were blind or in wheelchairs made all sorts of paper flowers, sometimes for special occasions, like Remembrance Day. John Grooms helped people a lot. We watched a video about some other things he did in his lifetime. The film was about making it easier for disabled people to get around indoors as well as outdoors. And this has always been the purpose of John Grooms, to help those we think of as handicapped to enjoy a fuller and freer life among their friends, their fellows and their families. Already Grooms are changing the future with imaginative developments where able-bodied and disabled live side by side where variety, choice, and sharing the same environment will be taken for granted. Watching this film about the past made us think that disabled people used to be treated as an outcast and that nowadays there are still problems like public transport and finding activities and work. Do you find it easy to get jobs? Um. <laughs> I'm finding stomach and I went for a job quite a few years back as a cancer and because of my 
big impediment they didn't talk to me. They spoke to someone who came with me. So, why don't you speak up for yourself and say, I can speak for myself. Can you be quiet, please? To the person next to you. Because unfortunately, you get people stuck in the dark ages. And unfortunately, they see the wheelchair rather than the person. That's one thing. That's discrimination yeah. to disabled people. Yeah, but it's the world we live in, man. But the world needs to change. Yeah. I think no matter of age, colour, disability, gender, Everyone is equal and we, we shouldn't be really having the conversation. <laughs> it really angers me. Neil is right. People should all be treated the same. We hope this film has inspired you and that it will inspire people with disabilities to follow their dreams and not give up. <laughs>